these bike lanes have no protection from traffic. I thought it was a little intimidating biking around here at first, just because of how much traffic there is, cars and pedestrians, that you really have to look out for everything. But even though she bikes to class every day, Jess can still feel uneasy. Even the lane, bike lanes that are on the bridge, they're pretty narrow right now. So it's really easy to just have one slip, especially in the winter, and then you just land in the lane. That could be about to change. A proposed project would add reflective plastic posts as a barrier between the bike lane and traffic. Simon Blensky, the project planner, said this would help people feel safer using bike lanes and would encourage more people to bike. Um, some of the streets that the project is touching um, have thousands of bikes per day on them, and it's really just addressing that demand. The project would connect the Como, Marcy Homes, and Cedar Riverside neighborhoods to campus with protected lanes. Jess said she thinks the project would help with other problems as well. Right now, I also see a lot of people that just bike on the sidewalk of the bridge, and that kind of creates a problem when people are trying to also walk on the sidewalk. Right now, the project is in the preliminary design process, and the planners are gathering feedback from people around the area. David Miner, University Report.